Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brandy Chanel coming to you with another video. This one is one that I have been wanting to record for a very very long time. As you can see the background is slightly different. Um, I am going to thrift, sorry, I'm going to film a thrift haul for you guys today. It's been a minute since I have filmed one on my channel and um, it looks like those are things that you really enjoy so I want to definitely make sure that I'm giving you content that you enjoy and that you want to see. So without further ado this is going to be thrift haul number two on my channel. So I have collected a few things that I have purchased from the Goodwill and Elite. Same thrift store I believe as before. The same thrift stores as before because they're my favorites and I frequent them all the time. So a lot of times when you see things that I have on my channel that I have thrifted, they'll probably be coming from one of those two places. A um, couple things I want to tell you. This shirt that I have on is thrifted. I believe I got this from the Goodwill like a long, like maybe a couple, year, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. And then, of course, my earrings are thrifted as well. These I picked up from Elite Thrift Store. So, yeah, if you're interested in my makeup, um... I tried a lot of things that I that are like new or that I haven't tried in a long time or that I haven't used in a long time. These Stila Magnificent Metals, just if you like glitter, yes to these. I just want you to know if you like glitter, yes. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this haul because I don't want, it's going to be, I have a ton of shoes. I have some clothes here and some like scarves and stuff and accessories, but my shoes I have several pair so let's just get into this now let's move on to purses and shoes I have like three purses and then the rest are shoes I have like 10 or 12 pairs of shoes okay so the first purse that I got is just this red is this what is this style doctor's bag I think it's called a doctor's bag and it's Gianni Bernini which is a brand that they carry in Dillard's um, I really, really like this purse, first of all, because it completely unzips on the sides, like not all, you know, unzips down pretty far. And then you open it up and it has all these compartments on the inside, which I think is absolutely dope. Like, I love purses with compartments because I like to keep things separate so that I know where to go in my purse to find a, spe a specific thing. So I love stuff like that. And then this style bag is my favorite style of bag to carry. So... I saw this and I was like, yeah, I have to have it. And it's in a really, really good condition. I got this from Elite and I believe it might have been like half off or something like that. But yeah, there's that. And the next purse that I got is just this guest clutch. Is that not dope, y'all? Like, I'm winning. This is old school guest, like old school guest. And it's just this color block, navy, camel, and white. And just looks like that on the inside. Nothing too fancy, but this will be perfect to pair with like some jeans, you know, and a, a button down and some heels or something. Ugh, I just, I love this. I love this clutch. And then the last bag that I have is just this leather bag right here. Oh my gosh, do you see this? Look, I mean... And you can feel it. It's just, you can tell that it's a really good quality bag. This leather feels so, like, high quality. I don't even know, like, how to describe it. It's not a particular brand of any sort. And this is just what the inside looks like. I got this from Elite also. And it does have a pocket on the side there. It doesn't have any pockets in the front, but it has the feet on the bottom that's how you can usually tell a pretty high quality bag is it has those feet on, at the bottom and I mean I wish y'all could feel it like I wish you could feel it and see it and hold it because the detailing on here is just ugh, so pretty and that color yes 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 so that is all that that's all the bags that I picked up now let's move on to shoes and I'm gonna try to be quick because I don't want this video to be super long First, let's start with the uncomfortable ones and the ones that are slightly too small. These. I picked these up from uh, EARC Thrift, actually. So that's a third store that I like to go to. 
Um, and I just thought they were super cute. They are very retro to me and they are polka dot and this is like suede. And this part, the heel of the shoe, the sole of the shoe is wooden. So I thought those were really cute. They are a size nine, they run a little small. So I really can't fit them the way I would like to. They're the brand Venus, which I think is like a mail order type of um, catalog type of thing. I don't know. But I really like these shoes. And maybe if I lose a few pounds, my feet, because I lose weight in my feet and they get a little thinner, I'll probably be able to fit them perfectly. Right now I can fit them, but it's just, I just feel like my foot is like right on the edge of this. And my friend Erica is not about to let me be out looking like this. So no next pair of shoes are these right here Ugh, they're so stinking cute i've already told y'all how i feel about feet and my feet so my feet will stay out during the summer um these are just by madison which is a shoe dazzle brand just on a platform with um snake skin they're just really cute and just wraps around your ankle i got those from the goodwill Next are these nice casual brown sandals. These came from Elite Thrift Store and I got these for I think a dollar. Um, I've worn these several times since I've picked them up and they are from Kato, which I am. I actually wear these often. They're very, very comfortable and they're just a nice summer spring sandal to dress up any. I wore these with a pair of jeans and a green shirt that I had thrifted. It was super chic, super cute, super comfortable, laid back, but I could literally wear these all day and they don't hurt my feet or anything. So yeah, great find. Uh, next I got these just um, peep toe. They are Arturo Chang and they're size nine. They are um, patent leather nude. And I actually paired these with that two-piece polka dot suit that I was showing you guys and they were really cute. So they are a little bit tight on my foot but not too uncomfortable. Actually on my heels I prefer them to be tighter because it makes it easier for me to walk in them. I know that might sound weird but if your shoes are too big and they're flopping off your feet you will trip and you will fall. So I got these from Goodwill. Next, I got these patent leather, super pointy toed Nine West heels. These are a size nine and a half. They fit perfectly. They fit like a dream. They are like super, like the the point the, the pointy toe is like real intense. And I actually picked up the same style of shoe in a different color and pattern. Y'all, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Y'all already know how I am about texture. These are like suede, not suede, um, not suede. What is it called? Velvet. These are velvet. Oh my gosh. And these just scream like holiday Christmas party to me, but they're in such good condition. They're also a size nine and a half, also nine West, the exact, the exact same not exact same because they do have this cut out on the side but the same like style of shoe I love these and I cannot wait to I low-key want to wear them still but they're velvet so I'm like that's kind of like a fall winter thing but I don't because I don't want to be out of, out of style in summer spring trying to wear some velvet shoes but they are dope though um next I got these really really cute um Chinese excuse my hair <laughs> Chinese laundry little shoes and they're just really simple something cute to throw on keep or keep in your car if you're like me and you go somewhere and you have on heels but then by the end of whatever your feet are hurting me church or whatever you could keep these in the car and just throw these on these are not the most comfortable I really they're size 10 I think Oh, no, they're US eight and a half, although they say 40 on the bottom of here. That would explain why they're a little tight on my feet. But nonetheless, I can still wear them and I still like them. So and I think they're absolutely adorable. Along that same style of shoe, those came from the Goodwill. I don't know if I said and then along the same style of shoe are these two tone. Oh, aren't those stunning? These are so cute on my feet, too. These are Murano, which is, of course, Target brand. And these are a size 10. 
I love these shoes. Target's shoes run small. It, I don't know if anybody knows that, anybody else has experienced that, but Target's shoes run small. Their size nines are like a size eight, eight and a half, like seriously. So these tens fit my feet perfectly, but they are super cute just to throw on with some casual jeans or something. Oh, I love a good sandal. Okay, don't judge me, but I can't get this hair together. But this next, this style of shoe, oh my God, what is it called? Somebody in the comments tell me what this style of shoe is called. I know it, I feel like, but I just can't, it can't come, it doesn't come to my mind. But this one is like authentic. You know how like some of these brands have like a cheaper version of this style shoe. This is not, this shoe is not playing games. Somebody's granny wore this shoe because it's got the authentic nails in the sole, leather sole, this is authentic leather shoe. The inside is just leather. I mean, it's just a really, you can tell it's a really well-made older shoe and I love it because it just gives it so much character. And these kind of shoes are so cute to me. Again, with jeans or anything casual, just to make it, dress it up a little bit if you want to. I just love these style shoes. And so with that being said, I also found a pair in black and both of these are from the Goodwill, I believe. I believe those are from the Goodwill. I know these are from the Goodwill, but I don't know about those. I think those are either from Elite or the Goodwill, but I found some in black too. This is not the same brand. These are Nicole brand and which is pretty expensive actually. This shoe is very well made, very heavy and does have a little more heel than the other one does. Um, I really, really like these. These are a size eight and a half, but they fit well. So yeah, these were $2.99 at the Goodwill too. So I love these. I wore these Sunday actually with my um, ankle, my polka dot ankle, um, ankle length pants. Mm-hmm, yep. And, oh, let's not forget these. Y'all, this hair. I also thrifted these. These are Michael Kors ankle boots, booties, or whatever. These retail for, I think, $130. They are brand new. They have never, ever been worn. And I believe I'm going to sell these because they're actually a size 11. And I can't do anything with an 11. Like, even if I wear the thickest socks, like I, that will be flopping up and down off my foot. But I love these so much. They are so cute and I love a good wedge. Like I think that wedges are timeless and I think that they go very well with any kind of outfit. And especially if you're in snow, if you're somewhere where it snows or anything like that and you have inclement weather, these, this will have you right in the snow. You won't be busting, you won't be slipping and falling trying to wear no heels and be cute. Wear a wedge and live. Wear a wedge and live in the in the in the winter time, especially in Oklahoma. Wear a wedge and live to see another day. And then, last but not least, my favorite favorite thrift find of the shoes are these babies. I can't even tell you how many times I've worn these since I purchased them. I've worn them out. I've gotten them dirty. I have. I, you know, I've just really done a number on these shoes, but I'm so glad that I found them. They are so dope. They are some all-stars. They are men's size eight, which is a little big. Cause Chucks run big, don't they? Or am I tripping? Cause these are kind of big and on my feet, they look a little big, but they are so stinking comfortable. And I was saying, these are the shoes that I paired with these, with these pants. And it was, my outfit was, if I may say so myself, bomb. It was, it was bomb. So I paired these with that and that was a really, really cute outfit. And I think actually that entire, I'm going to have to insert that picture because that entire fit was thrifted from the sweater to the turtleneck to the pants to the shoes. Like it was thrifted, all of it. And it was so stinking cute. I felt cute and sassy, but comfortable. And so you can't beat that to be styling and be comfortable cute and comfortable like what we get to do both like yes yes I was here for it but anyway I got these from the Goodwill for seven dollars and 99 cents and I snatched them so quick I didn't even care 
I, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that is it. Guys, that is my thrift haul. I hope you liked it. Um, please comment down below and tell me some of your favorite thrift stores, some of your favorite thrifted pieces. I do have a video that I want to shoot of like my most expensive thrifted pieces or my most loved or my favorite thrifted pieces, pieces that I've worn the most. Because there are some things that I've thrifted that I wear like all the time, like very, very often. And then there are some pieces that, you know, you wear one time and it's too extravagant to wear again. So yeah let me know if you would be interested in any of those videos because i'm kind of thinking in my head that i want to film those because i found some really good things thrifting guys and so i just kind of want to share that with you guys and see you know what you think and once you guys tell me some of the good things that you found while you were thrifting anyway i do thank you guys for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me today again it's your girl brandy chanel and i would love if you could like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time i love you bye